Hello everybody, we've got the pre-production copy of Incredibrawl in our hands. Um, so everything in here is as it should be on the final copy. So we're going to do an unboxing today. You can see the back here, the sides, we've got different characters on every side, as you can see. So let's go, haven't even taken the shrink wrap off yet. So this will be as new to you as it is to me. And if we see any errors, we'll start crying. All right, so here we go. We are ready to box. You, can, if you, you can't see it on the camera, but there's a nice linen finish. So we upgraded the box quality during the Kickstarter. Um, there's the top. Here we've got the inside. So we've got a rule book, full color, 16 wonderful pages. Um, if you don't know how to play Incredible at the end of this rule book, we have failed. Um, I'll slip flip through the pages here. You can just see uh, a lot of you have already seen this, but nice illustrations, diagrams, um, a lot of fun. It should be very useful as well and really give you uh, uh, probably everything and more that you need to know about Incredible Raw. So set that to the side. All right, now we've got our punch sheet. So we've got our tokens, our glory that you're fighting for in Incredible Brawl. Uh, you can see we've got five fives and tw 25 ones, so that should be enough um, for even the games that you want to play more than 15. Um, so it gives you plenty of options. Then we've got tokens here at the bottom for power types. So there's different abilities in Incredible Brawl that will let you change your power on your character. You can use these tokens to represent power changes. And we've got our first player token and our shark coin. So first player token will rotate in certain game modes if you want to use it, um, with, especially with three player and four player games. Uh, the shark coin is double sided. You've got a fins, which is the tails on one side. And on the other side, we've got the shark head, which is obviously heads. And then the player one just on the other side of that. So these are exactly the same. So there is a nice token sheet, nice and thick. You can see the thickness, linen finish top-notch stuff. All right, cards. Here's the insert, so you can see it's nicely packaged. You can remove this if you want. If you want to sleeve the cards, there should be enough room for to sleeve the entire game if you want. But if you remember from the end of the, end of the campaign, we upgraded the card quality, so these suckers should be nice if I can open them. Um, I may have to get my teeth out here in a second. I have no fingernails. Here we go. All right, let's check these out without ruining them. Um, first thing you'll notice is um, we rounded the corners, uh, like any card game, for shuffling ease. But we, had, we went ahead and paid a little extra to do a custom rounded corner die so that it would be uh, a little more square to fit our design because we are sticklers for good looking cards. Oh, look at all that beautiful card goodness. I love it. All right, so here we go. Here's the cards. There's a fan of them. Here's the back. So in Incredible Brawl, as you can see, even from this picture right here, you have four player decks. Um, each person will have the same color deck. There should be some other cards scattered in here as well in one of these. Um, so we'll get through those in a second. So this is the purple deck. And so every deck's the same, um, so the players have the same uh, opportunities. And we've got regular character cards, our witch, our mermaid. I'll bring these a little closer. Uh, here's a Viking, and there's power-ups, so the other main card type when you're playing with that game option. Uh, we got all of our cool characters, they're beautiful. These, if you hear that snap, um, the card quality itself is really high. Um, so they should shuffle well, a nice snap back. Um, so this is uh, the best card stock you can get from our printer. Um, 300 GSM Black Core. So good stuff. They feel great. Uh, they got the nice linen finish as well. So you can just see here's the whole deck, all the power-ups. There we go, to the end. Um, so that is what a player deck looks like. And let's see if we can't find the uh, other cards here buried somewhere. Ah, there they are, at the bottom of this one. So now I've got to open another one of these where we awkwardly wait for my fingernails to catch the thing on the side. This is usually the point at home where I would be chewing on this package. There we go. So here we see, if I can get them out, here we see um, locations. So here's uh, locations in our game. So these cards are landscape. Um, you can see the back, they're gray, so you won't get them mixed in with the character. 
and they are beautiful full color and they have the abilities and icons now that we've added um, so you can see who what characters get their bonuses if they win at these certain locations when they brawl space stations and islands and arcane towers you can just see all the cool so the rest of them must be in another one there's 16 of those and then we're here we have the uh, purple players deck so I don't think you yeah, see what's at the end here yep those are just all power-ups so the only other cards really to see before I get into the Kickstarter cards are just to show you and get it all done here let's do the reference cards which unless I am terribly mistaken should be at the end of this ba but batch so here's the uh, rest of the locations and then here we've got a turn order card so there should be one of these in every uh, game pile that tells you here's the turn order and the power order for um, help you in the brawl decide what beats what as well as that's on the card as well so that's the cards the last thing we'll look at is if you've backed our Kickstarter we've got our special pack of Kickstarter bonuses here um, so let me open this up find the bottom of it and here we go we've got bam 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 from luchador mexican wrestling dice which should be coming out stateside from game salute uh, very soon the machinist from hunters of arc fall which should be out uh, if it's not out by the end of the year i think it's going to be the uh, january february of next year in a game store near you dr boom um, this is uh, by the time this video airs, the Kickstarter will be uh, close to ending, but it'll be coming to a game store near you next year from Two Rooms and a Boom. And then Gecko, Zufu, Path of the Samurai Zookeeper. So this Kickstarter um, actually did not make it, but hopefully they're going to relaunch and or uh, bring it out anyway. We'll see. And then you have, uh, you know, Kickstarter exclusives cards. We have our Kicking It cards, our power ups, one for each deck. So you can see here all the player colors and then our Kickstarter exclusive location, the private vault um, from all the money that was donated to make this game. So there you go. Um, we're really excited about it. It feels great. The quality level is outstanding. Um, we've, I've backed a lot of Kickstarters myself and uh, sometimes the quality is suspect, but I think you guys are going to be really excited to see what we've got in store for you. Um, so thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoy playing it.